Malueni, you guys, welcome back to another video. If you are watching for the first time and are wondering who this is, my name is Natasha, and this is basically a space where we share experiences, we learn, and we grow. If you're watching from outside, please do come in and become a part of this beautiful family just by clicking that subscribe button below. And for all the returning family members, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back fam you know you know the house rules you grab a drink of something and we enjoy i am not having a drink today because i just had a whole a lot of tea and um, a lot of water so i am just taking a break from that for now um guys we are in fall in the netherlands but the way it's so cold it makes me fear what we are going to face in winter we are banned guys as you can see the way i'm dressed and i'm inside the house it's so cold but in any case um welcome back to um another video guys today we are going to be talking about um apps that from my experience i feel like as an expert you need to have right and um I've honestly used all of these apps and um, I think they've all played a significant role at a specific time in my life and I thought why not share um, why not share this information with you guys for whoever might need it. Okay, so getting straight into the video as per usual, um, the first app we have on our list is DigiID. DigiID um, we did touch up on with my partner on the previous video um, where we shared the, the important things that you need to do once you get to the Netherlands, right? So we shared a lot about DJID, but basically it's an app um, that it's kind of like a security app that allows you access to um, your different um, platforms that um, have to do with government, like if you want to access um information regarding your tax um information regarding your residence permit and so forth it is an identity management platform which government agencies of the netherlands including the tax and customs administration and dienst eight footing on their face can be used to verify the identity of dutch residents on the internet in 2022 it was used for 557 million authentications by 16.5 million citizens the system is tied to the dutch, dutch national identification number which is your bsn number burger service number the system has been mandatory when submitting tax forms electronically since 2006. So yeah, basically that is the, the Digi ID. And then the second app, um, these apps are not in any chronological order or anything like that, guys. I'm just mentioning them randomly. The second app that I have on my list is Facebook. Facebook you will need because you will need to join groups on facebook um like for instance groups of south africans in the netherlands guys these groups are so helpful because if you are sh if you aren't sure about some things um you can always ask on those groups um they're so informative um so you can join those groups on facebook like even prior to us coming to the netherlands we joined the groups and there were questions that we would ask if we were not sure about certain things and people would respond Obviously, those people who have more experience and who know better and who have gone through the process before us. So I would really recommend that you do join like the South Africans in the Netherlands groups on Facebook. There's different ones. There's South Africans in the Netherlands, South Africans working in the Netherlands, South Africans looking for jobs in the Netherlands, South Africans looking for old pairs or babysitters in the Netherlands. There's like many of them. So you can just choose which one you would like to join. And the third app is Marketplatz. Marketplatz is basically like Facebook Marketplace. It's basically an app where people sell things at discounted prices. It, it works exactly as um, Facebook Marketplace. So I would really suggest you get this. If we knew about this, if someone had told me the information I know now, I would have saved so much money because we didn't know about Marketplace. We only found out about it, I think, a month after we got here. Um, we bought some stuff from people um, that were way expensive than we could have actually got them on Marketplace. So I would really suggest that if you are new here and are starting off and you know you're looking for furniture or baby stuff, whatever it is, 
download that app look for stuff from there you can even bid um, for an item on there and get it at a cheaper price so that app is actually really helpful then the other app is a duo lingo this app we mentioned uh, my partner and i mentioned in our previous video it's basically an app that teaches you different languages but in this case specifically um, we used it to learn a bit of dutch especially for me because um, in as much as I've got, I've got like an Afrikaans background, but Afrikaans and Dutch are actually quite different. And, you know, sometimes we always um, debate about this with, with um, different South Africans who are here. Some other people say their knowledge in Afrikaans helped them to understand uh, understand Dutch easier. But some, somewhat I sometimes feel like it actually, for me personally, it feels more confusing to learn Dutch when you know Afrikaans because there are so many things that are different and there are so many things that you think would be the same and are actually not the same and mean two totally different things so yeah you should download duolingo um, so that you can learn a bit of dutch even if you are going to be working for an american company or an english speaking company i would really recommend that you download duolingo it's really going to help you to just be able to just say a few words when you get to the supermarket or just to understand the writings around you that are in dutch so that you understand what is going on for example sometimes like the train is delayed or the bus um, has an issue or whatever the case may be if you don't know the language or just a bit of the language it can be really um confusing and it can be challenging for you so Learning a bit of the language and just the basics is actually good for you. The next app is the De Hit app, which is basically similar as the Dueling, but the De Hit app is specifically for um, Netherlands, is basically Dutch. And the De Hit app teaches you um, basically when to use de and when to use hit. So, for instance, in English, we only have the, right, as an article, and we use it like probably for every word. But in the Netherlands, they have de and they have hit, and both of these are used in different circumstances. So it can be really confusing. It's one of the most confusing things ever. So I would suggest that you also download that app to assist you to understand the differences and know when to use which. The next app is the 9292 app. The 9292 app is basically an app that um, is used for transportation. It shows you, you know, the bus schedules um, and times and the train schedules and times. You just literally go on it, um, put in the destination that you want to go to. It will give you an option of train, bus, tram, depending on what province and what city you stay in, if there is a train or a bus or a tram, right? So you just put in your destination and it will give you like a full schedule of how you can get to your destination whether you need to take a bus and a train and a tram or you just need to take a bus or you just need to take a train or all three or whatever the case may be, right? The next um, app is Squirin, which is the NS app. The NS app is quite similar to the 9292 app, um, but it's specifically for the NS company, which is the company of the transportation in the Netherlands, which is like the train company and... Um, I'm not sure if they are also the bus company because I know the bus company I think is Arriva or Arriva. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, and they do wear different uniform, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, basically the NS app is like the main app of the transportation um, system. To be honest, I personally prefer the 9292 app compared to the NS app. Because I tried the NS app and I just felt like it wasn't working for me. It wasn't always accurate. And um, okay, both of them are not always 100% accurate. But I personally feel like the 9292 app is like maybe 90% accurate. And most of the time, the, the, the schedule that it does show is exactly what actually does happen. Um, yeah, I felt like there was a bit of a delay on the NS app and yeah, I just didn't like, it wasn't convenient for me, but you can download it and see whichever one works for you. The next app is the weather app. So there are different types of weather apps. I'm going to insert, um, I think the app logos of both of them on the screen. I think the one is AccuWeather. There is also one called, I think, Drops, if I'm not mistaken. And there's another one I'm going to put on the screen. I forgot the name of the app, sorry. Um, but 
you need you need you need these weather apps guys the minute you land in the netherlands you need to download these apps because the weather in the netherlands is so unpredictable it's always raining so basically these apps really help to show you at what times it's going to rain and how much rain um, is being forecasted so that you can prepare your raincoat can prepare your boots and you can prepare your umbrella right just to put it out there always carry your umbrella and your raincoat guys in the netherlands once it hits fall j carry your umbrella carry your raincoat in your bag at all times just for safety sake right the next app is the ing app ing is basically a bank app and this is not specifically an app that you need um but it's a banking app right so depending on whatever bank that you choose to use then you would obviously have to download the app it's really going to help you to navigate things easier and not having to log on to the online system every time or go physically to the to the to the bank and um my partner and i did share in the previous video once again um the different um banks that are offered in the netherlands so you can just choose with you can just choose whichever you feel like is best for you but i use ing and my partner partner also use ing and um we have the app the next app is tiki tiki is an app used in the netherlands to transfer money so let's say we go out as friends and i pay the bill i can actually use tiki to send um each person's portion that they should pay um back to me right so once they click the link or open the tiki, it will instruct them on how to pay you and how much they should pay you. And it's as simple as that. I was so shocked when I got here. I was like, what is tiki? Because I remember I went um, for an event with my previous company. We had like a team building type of like thing. And when I got to work the next week, um, my colleague was like, um, oh, I'm going to send you a tiki for um you're part of the bill from last week and i was like what is a tiki what's that i was so shocked so yeah it's a very famous thing if you don't have it then you need to get it as soon as you get to the netherlands because people here don't do the whole thing of they do but majority of people don't really do the whole thing of transferring money and asking for bank numbers and all of that nah they all just um prefer tiki right and then the next two apps are Timu and Sheen. Um, I think most people around the world know these apps. They're not just Netherlands apps. But I would really suggest you get Timu, especially if you're going to get here and you're going to start off. We got a lot of items, like house items from Timu. Um, when we got here, I think I bought like over 50 house items. It was so convenient because when we got here, we didn't know what shops are the best to go to. You know, what is the cheapest place? What shops um, have the best items? We were clueless about everything. So um, Timu really helped us because we literally just searched for everything we wanted from Timu and we needed and we just bought it online. Yes, just like any online shopping app. Sometimes the quality of an item can be really bad. Sometimes it can be shockingly good. It's a gamble. It's literally win or lose. So it's just one of those risks that you actually have to take. Um, so I would really suggest you get that. And also Sheen. Sheen, um, I never really, I've never really bought, I've never really bought like house items from Sheen. But I think I would advise to get it if you are obviously still new here and you are not going to be sure which shops to go and buy like clothing or whatever you need from sheen um i've bought a couple of items from sheen um some of them were a disaster some of them were really good quality once again it's it's just the thing of taking a risk and hoping for the best right and the next app is ball ball is like take a lot in south africa it's where you can get everything. I think if you don't want to buy from Timu or Sheen, you can also check out things on Ball. And it's mostly like take a lot. Um, they do sell a few clothing items, but it's mostly like for household items, equipment, office supplies, and all of that. They also sell like toiletries, um, you know, and all of that stuff. So I would really, really suggest that you actually get um, the app. The next app is Zalando. Zalando is an app that sells clothing. They do also sell other stuff like toiletries and all of that. But I specifically use it for clothing items. So what I like about Zalando is that they've got items from different stores that are in the Netherlands. Like all these um, popular um, clothing sto stores, they actually 
are on Zalando. So you can compare prices like maybe for jeans or jackets or if you need sweaters or whatever it is that you need, shoes, sneakers, you can actually buy them from Zalando. And what I like is that they usually have a lot of um, like markdowns or flash sales or sales where things can be marked down like really good. So you can literally get something from like 90 euros to like 60 euros or 50 euros. So that is actually a good app to have. The next app is Sitly. Sitly is a babysitting app um, that I used when I got to the Netherlands to look for babysitters. Um, there's also another one called Nina.care. And the babysitter that I still have now for my son, who we still call from time to time when we need someone to take care of our son, should we need to go somewhere, um, I got from Nina.k and I have a good relationship with her. She's an amazing woman. So I would really, really um, recommend Nina.k. And then the next app is Vinted. Vinted is an app that is basically an app that sells like secondhand clothing or secondhand items um, at a, a markdown prices, obviously. And people sell really good quality clothes, Payana, guys. Like some people wear items like once or twice and then they end up selling them. So you can actually be lucky at times and get like really good quality clothes. So I would really suggest you get that app. The next app is Tees Bezorg. I hope I pronounced it correctly. It's kind of like Uber Eats in a way. Uber Eats they do have, but we've never really used Uber Eats, have we? I don't remember us using Uber Eats since we got here. So I'm not really sure. Um, about Uber Eats and how um, the service is. But I know Utes Bezorg, um, we have used quite a number of times to buy like food from restaurants. And I must say that the service is quite good. They have like, I think in each town, if I'm not mistaken, they have like service, Gates Bezorg. So I would really suggest that you download it. Um, if maybe you want to try out some restaurants from the Netherlands without having to go to the restaurant physically, um, you can just order food from there and they will have it delivered to your address. And then the last app we have on the list is Too Good To Go. So this one I found out from a colleague of mine, I think a couple of weeks ago. And I must say, I am really impressed by the app. So basically Too Good To Go is an app that shows like um, discounted food items around your town so each supermarket or store has certain items that they cannot sell to customers the next day so those items need to go so basically they would put all the items online and you can basically just um, set on the app um, in terms of the radius and you basically choose how far like in terms of the supermarkets around you how far you're willing to travel to go and actually buy the items and um i think also at a certain point with certain items there's a limited number of items so you need to literally buy as fast as you can before everyone else finishes them um so yeah it basically gives you like all the discounted items all the items that need to go so sometimes it's like they sell food at really really low prices and like a huge amount of food so i would really really suggest um to get that app um if you really want to save on groceries and you want to really um get some groceries at a good discount uh, i know my colleague usually goes on the app every friday um in the afternoon and she gets um stuff that she usually buys from there and she gets them like a, at a huge discount so yeah those are the apps guys that i wanted to share if there are any apps that um maybe one of you feel like i should have mentioned and that are also necessary to have as an expert please do comment in the comment section and let us know but these are the apps that I personally think are apps that an expert should have and apps that have really helped me personally. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Nothing more. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel as yet, please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the like button. Um, don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos going further. I will catch you guys in the next video. Do it!